open mouth, thus triggering my regeneration. I don't. That's what the experiment is for. I need you to load the funnel at the back, and then we can begin. Put a stop to this nonsense right now! Snorpington, here to sabotage my career again. Sabotage? I'm trying to save your life! Nonsense. If my hypothesis is correct, I will be perfectly fine and I will have advanced medical knowledge by a century. And if you're wrong, you'll be headless. Even after everything you've done, I still care about you, Floofy. Don't try to infect me with your cowardice. What you should care about is my work. That is what is truly important. You are important. Despite your rampaging ego, the world will go on with or without your experiments. I would think you at least would understand. Instead, you insist on being a selfish, spineless, slack jawed baby. See, this is why nobody wants to help you. It's pitiful, isn't it? I can rearrange fibrous tissue with electrostatic waves, but I cannot convince my own brother to help me. My work should stand for itself. I shouldn't need to put so much effort into explaining myself. But it does take effort. With the others, it is simple. I can write them off as ignorant, frightened children. <sighs> but not Snorpy. I know he's not a coward or a fool, which means that the error is mine. I cannot make myself understood. So I lose patience, and I give up on understanding. And perhaps that is cowardice on my part.